seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all these other things I will add to you. You will not need to do anything. When you remain faithful to the first part of this verse, I will fulfill the second part, not you, but me by my hand will I do it. Everything you are supposed to be and do, you will be and do. I have begun this good work in you, and I will bring it to a good, successful completion, where I will be glorified. Do not worry about the nitty gritties of how, when, and all of that. Just continue to abide, and I will do things that if I told you now, you wouldn't believe it. The secret is, and has always been seeking me first and my righteousness, then everything else will fall into place. The things come after seeking my kingdom. These things are activated by you seeking my kingdom. Any other way is not my way. It is a shortcut and it is of the world. And if you get these things, they will be fleeting and will only add sorrow. For their foundation is not of me, it's of the world. My blessings are coming and I am doing not only a new thing, but a big thing never seen before. The glory of this letter church will be great and mighty, and those who will be partakers of it are those who have been seeking me above all else, with little or nothing coming their way. What they don't know is that while they were seeking me with all of their heart, I was gathering these things, both spiritual and physical, awaiting the perfect moment, a wow moment that is soon coming upon my faithful. Those that have been faithful with needle, put in the talents that I gave them to work, will be rewarded with more talents and weightier ones at that. New positions, new ministries, new businesses, huge finances to finance my work, favor and multiplication on every side they look. Those that I have hidden for some time, their time of revealing is now. Their time in the wilderness has come to an end. They have been refined and prepared, made ready to step into the new, both physically and spiritually. All the years lost I will restore. They will not go back to who they were, but to new spaces and places with greater power and authority. My child, you have endured much in your wilderness without complaining, but always seeking me with your all. I tell you, nothing has been in vain, nothing has been a waste. You gave your all, and I will give you my all, my fullness. You have gained so much more spiritually and physically that you would never have done on your own. And this is what is needed. This is what will make you stand in all that is coming. You will not only stand strong, but be strong for others as well. You will pull up the weak and lead the foolish. You will transform and you will handle everything that I give to you in my wisdom and in humility. No one will take anything away from you. My seal of approval is in you and on you for this work, for such a time as this. The season you are entering into 
is for teaching and for truth. Many know the truth. They just don't know how to walk in it. This is where and how teaching will be used. All offices will play their role and together you will mold and deliver many souls out of darkness with my light. Many will come to my truth and they will be liberated from their bondages. It is an exciting time for those who will operate in me, for they have kept their ways pure from the beginning. These are the ones that will walk and shine my glory, for they are vessels unto honor. The naysayers will be silenced. Yes, I am moving and doing a new thing. Lay a hold of it by your obedience, and great will be your reward.